Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to another episode of Seagull Daily. Um, you know, a bit of news has been happening over the past 24 hours but there's not as much news as there was in yesterday's video but there's still news on the club nonetheless. Um, starting off with my um, my thumbnail story, Tom Hemmeth has signed a new contract but then you're probably asking why is that story down below? What do we do with Tom Hammond? Um, now, even though he's got one year left with the club, and he's, it's, you know, he's obviously talked to his agent about and asked to have that year uh, contract extension. Um, we've only basically got six months. Um, let me explain. With when you've only got a year left on your contract, um, not your current contract but like your one year extension um, or you know it might could be the last year of your contract there might just be an extension in Tom Hammett that you know we didn't know about but um, anyway let me go back to this one when you have a one year contract when you get up to January which is the next transfer window um, the player is allowed to talk to other clubs and then go in the following August for free. So this is my question to you. Do we let Tom Hemme go or not? You know, put it down in the comments below, same as we have sure told on yesterday's. Um I my personal opinion on Tom Hemmed is I would like to see him start at the club. I would like to see him retire with us because he's done so much. I think Tom and Hammond was pushed out the first eleven by. I'm not going to say, um, you know, by disrespect, but being thrown out of the eleven by a red card against Newcastle when Tom was on goal scoring form, you know, that made me start to question Christian and his tactics just a little bit. I didn't want him out at that point, but you know, coming to the end of Chris Shooting's um you know, time at Brighton, I did, you know, slightly more because he's playing too defensive, but I know I'm not the only fan with that opinion. Um but yeah, as I said, this is my question, do we keep Tom Hammond? Um a lot as I said, I like to see him stay and I like to see him retire at the club. Um Back to a story that I did um, a while back, um, beginning of last week, I think, and that is Jada Bogram. Um, Jada Bogram, um, Derby have said they want 15 million for the defender, um, but they're waiting for Floyd tomorrow to come back off loan. Sorry for my Spanish name. Um, but Brighton have already put a ten million pound bid in for him. Um, I, as I said, Derby will hold off till tomorrow he comes back offline. Um, but would Jada fit the bill for Brighton? Um, you know, he's only a, a young, a young lad. Got round the end. Um, but you know, as I said, would he fit in with the Prem? Would he do a good job? Um, you know, uh, I think he'd be all right, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, let's, if we go in for him, I expect him to come in at the under twenty three level at first. I don't expect him to come showing that first team, even though we are desperate for a right back now after Bruno's retired. Um, the next bit is uh, Bradley Dirk, uh, Blackburn. Forward, uh, we apparently have interest in him. Uh, he's got 15 goals in 42 appearances in the championship last season. Um, you know, do we go for someone like that, or do we go someone more Premier League quality, or do we risk it again and go abroad? Um, I know we've got the likes of um. Lacardia and, and Done, but then we've also got a find a placement for Murray as well. I know we've got him for this year, but whether he does another year or not, we're gonna have to wait and see. 
but you know we're gonna I want to start pushing forward if you know what I mean I don't want another season like last season um you know where we're struggling with goals um but yeah again that's where the Tom Hammer thing comes back up um, do we keep him or not? As I said, put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, he's got Brad has got 15 goals in 42 appearances. As I've said, in the championship, he's 25 years old. So if we do sign him, we've got him possibly for about seven years before he even thinks about retiring. Um, it might even be shorter time than that, depending on how the club progresses, obviously. So, you know, this is going to be another interesting story going forward. Keep an eye out uh, for that one. And uh, obviously, as I, as I just said, I always say it, keep an eye out. <laughs> um, the other bit and the last bit for today is, could we sign Daddy Welbeck on a free transfer? Um, Arsenal have said they're letting him go. He's free. Um, personally, for me, being on a free transfer to us, I know he's been injured a lot. I know he's had his problems. But even using his experience could help us a long way. Um, obviously, ex Man United, now ex Arsenal. You know, he could be our last 10 minute man. He could, you know, he could do well for us. I mean, our standard could suit Danny down to the ground. But, um, you know, do you want to see him sign for the club? Put it all down in the comments below. Um, but, you know, let's see what happens with all these stories. Um, as I said, put, put all your comments down below about Jaden, Bradley, Toma, and Dunning. And let's just see what our club does. But I've got to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.